Hmm, so which is better, these or these, for cases with no front airflow like this? Let's find out. Now I've done several videos talking about the front airflow of constricted cases like the NZXT S340 and H500 and I did some tests which showed that adding intake fans to these cases don't make any difference when it comes to the actual temperature of components. Now the objection that some people made to the testing methodology in these videos has been the fact that I used Noctua NFF12s as intake fans, which are static pressure fans and people argue that this is why I didn't see a difference in temperature. Now the kind of thinking behind using static pressure fans was that the airflow is very constricted in the front so how hard the fan can pull is more important than kind of how much air it can bring in but the objection stands and I decided to redo the tests. Now the two fans that I'm going to be using for these tests are the Noctua NFF12s and then I decided to get the closest relative to these fans but you know like airflow focused so I'm using the Noctua NFS 12s for the airflow variant. Now I did also want to include the EK Vardar fans to have an even more static pressure optimized fan but then when I looked at the specifications of the fans weirdly the Noctua NFF 12s are actually even more specifically suited to static pressure as opposed to airflow so I decided to leave the EK Vardars out of the test. So all of the fans in the tests are 120 millimeters which might be an issue for some people because the front panels do support 140 millimeters but I do push the setup to the limit a bit later so stay tuned if you do have that objection. Now let's have a quick look at the components I used in the PC for these tests. Now the only other objection that I saw fairly regularly on some of these videos was the fact that people said that the two stock fans that come in the H500 and S340, uh, one of them is actually set up as an intake by default through the top, uh, but as you can see from the B-roll here, these two fans as stock are set up to exhaust out of the case. And then when moving over to the actual software I used to actually stress the system, I used IDA64's stress test on the CPU and then I used a fur mark for stressing the GPU. And then I took the temperatures after 15 minutes. And I actually bought a thermometer so that I can test the ambient temperature of the room to keep it as consistent as possible throughout the tests. So I have the actual thermometer placed at the intake of the case and then there's a kind of another probe that the thermometer has that I then placed inside the case so that I can actually measure the delta of temperature between the actual intake into the case and the temperature in the case itself. Now for all of these tests I ran the room at 22.2 degrees exactly. So let's have a quick look at the test results. And again, the results show pretty much no change between using no fans, having static pressure optimized fans, and having airflow fans in the front of the case. Now, the reason that I think this is, is because the actual exhaust fans sucking out all the hot air creates convection that sucks air in through the intake to replace the air that's being exhausted. And this natural convection already saturates the bottleneck that is the gap in the front panel for airflow and that's why it doesn't seem to make any difference adding extra fans but I did decide to push it to the absolute limit to see if I could force an actual result and well this is what happened okay so this is gonna get fairly ghetto fairly quickly so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the actual Noctua NFF 12s first and then have the airflow fans behind the NFF 12s blowing out air to kind of, I don't know, have the pressure happen first and then the airflow disperse it in the case. Don't know if that makes any sense. Um, and then I'm gonna funnel in more air from fans outside and we're gonna see how well that goes. Okay, so this is where the real ghettoness is gonna start because 
I want to rig these fans over here, sorry for the shape of this camera, uh, these fans over here uh, to help blow air into the front intake over here from the outside. First I actually zip tied the fans together to create this beautiful stack like this and then I used cardboard to create a funnel around the case. Okay, so now with this contraption jerry-rigged comes the really difficult part. I need to figure out a way to power these fans because I don't have any space left on the motherboard uh, so I'm gonna have to connect those cables there up to a different PC. This is currently what the setup looks like. I've got these fans in here and I've had, to pull, <laughs> I've had to pull this PC closer to be able to fit the actual fan headers in the motherboard. So the one is going here via extension to that uh, fan header over there. And then I've got the other two going into the bottom of the case down there. Now I know that this proximity does mean that you know the heat generated from this PC might affect the temperatures. But I'm still going to have the thermometer in the exact same place so that we know to what to we so that we know what the intake temperatures are and i'm very i'm going to regulate that very closely okay so let's turn it on and see what happens so first i'm going to turn this pc on because that's the one i'm the most curious about okay there we go they've actually spun up and then yeah all the fans are running it's very difficult to see but all of the seven intake fans are now running. So let's have a little bit of sexy cardboard B-roll. So let's do the test and see what kind of temperatures we get. Conclusion, if the jerry-rigged situation with like seven fans trying to pull air through that front intake didn't make any kind of real difference in temperatures, then there's no point in buying intake fans for these cases. Because the cost of two decent intake fans is pretty much half the cost of the entire case itself. So it really isn't worth the money. But honestly, the temperatures aren't that bad. This is a mid-range system that's being pushed fairly hard and it doesn't have any temperature problems. I know that the ambient temperature in the room is fairly low, but even if you jack it up by another eight degrees, you're still not gonna have issues with temperatures in your case with the specific component setup that I have. Maybe if you put a 2080 Ti with an i9-9900K overclocked at five gigahertz, you could see some issues with temperatures, but any kind of reasonable setup that you would use in this kind of price category of case you're not really gonna have any issue with temperatures and with that do let me know in the comment section below what you thought of my jerry-rigged setup if you think that there was any point to doing that I personally think there wasn't but you know what's fun is fun and if you like this video do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and until the next one bye bye